In today's video here with Max Kitchen, we are going to prepare the best and my favorite tiramisu recipe, which is made without eggs. We are not gonna use any eggs. And now let's start from the espresso coffee. You can use an espresso machine or a simple espresso mocha. Both ways are perfectly fine. But make sure you get the best quality coffee ever because there is the secret, the quality of the coffee. Now, once you get 500 milliliters of espresso coffee, just put on the side and let it cool down completely. Don't add any sugar, any coffee liquid. I wanna keep it as simple and pure as it is. And now let's start this recipe. In a bowl, start adding 200 milliliters or three quarter cup of whipping cream and 40 grams or one quarter cup of icing sugar and whip until stiff peaks form. Remember guys that for this recipe you can use or a stand mixer or a hand mixer. It doesn't change anything, just follow the same process and you will get the same result using both machines. And once it's ready, transfer it in a clean bowl, cover it with clean film and place it in the fridge. At this stage, reuse your bowl to whip the mascarpone cheese and the remaining icing sugar. 250 grams or one cup of mascarpone cheese and 40 grams or one quarter cup of icing sugar. And start whipping until stiff peaks form. The mascarpone cheese is fully whipped and now we are going to fold in the whipping cream. Make sure in three different times and not all in once. Time to put together the puzzle, so start dipping your Savoyardi or lady fingers in the cold espresso coffee for 2 or 3 seconds, no more than that, otherwise if they get too soggy, all the coffee will be released into the serving bowl. And for a nice and really eye-catching tiramisu, I suggest you to pipe the tiramisu mix with a piping bag. But eventually, if you don't have it, just pour the mix on top the Savoyardi biscuits and spread it with a simple tablespoon. If you are planning to bring this tiramisu recipe to a birthday party or anywhere else, I suggest you first to dust some icing sugar on it, then dust the cocoa powder. And doing so, the cocoa powder won't absorb the moist from the tiramisu mix and it will keep dry for many different hours. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, like it and I'll see you in the next video.